Want to master your new iPad Pro? We're going to walk you through nine tips or tricks to make you an iPad Pro Pro. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we've got the new 2018 iPad Pros, both the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch model. There is an insane amount of improvements over the last generation, and with it comes a few tips and tricks. Starting off, you can now use an external 4K display with your iPad Pro, all over that single USB-C port. With this though, there are a few good things and a few bad things. Starting off, it's extremely easy to do. You just need that one single cable. Of course, you can use an adapter as well if you want to throw something up over HDMI. What's really exciting though is how developers are going to start to take advantage of that monitor output. Take iMovie. I can actually use that second monitor instead of just a mirror of my iPad, I can use it as an uncompressed 4K preview of my video while I'm editing. Other developers can take advantage of this as well. Say you're working in a writing app, you can have a bunch of clips and previews and other little notes on your iPad screen and your text up on the larger one. This will require developer support, so you may have to wait a little while before your favorite apps get updated. Our favorite part of all of this, if you have the right display, your iPad can actually get charged at the same time it's running that external monitor. Are you ever out on the go and you need a little bit of extra juice but you didn't bring a battery pack with you? Well, if you happen to have your iPad, you are all set. You can actually use that USB-C port to power pretty much any of your gear that you've got lying around. That includes things like your Apple Watch. You need the appropriate cable, so in this case a USB-C magnetic Apple Watch charging puck, or for your iPhone or your other accessories, you need something like a USB-C to lightning cable. But when you're in a pinch, there's nothing better than being able to power up your necessary devices. Your iPad has a massive battery, especially that 12.9 model, and if you're just going out for the day, you're not going to need all that juice. So power up your Apple Watch, power up your iPhone, or even power up your AirPods. The original Apple Pencil was a pretty awesome device, but with the version 2, there were a ton of overhauls just like on the iPads. There's a bunch of cool little things they can do like magnetically attaching to the top, wirelessly charging through the side of your iPad, and like the original, there's a quick way to get in there and take notes with your Apple Pencil. We have our Apple Pencil paired to our 11 inch iPad Pro. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. Now we're going to take our Apple Pencil and just tap the screen. When we do, it immediately wakes up and takes you to the notes app. This is perfect for if you're in a meeting or in a class, your display goes to sleep, no one has to worry about turning it on, using Face ID, all that stuff. Tap the screen, immediately take notes. With the lack of home button, there are a lot of new gestures you may need to get used to. Some of these changes came with iOS 12 and many of them work on other iPads, but it is great to know all the different gestures on your iPad to take full advantage of it. That includes being able to flick up from the bottom to go to your home screen, go up a little bit to access your dock, swipe left and right to go between recent applications, swipe up from the bottom and hold to access the multitasking interface, or you can even use all the four finger gestures from the past, pinching to go back to your home screen, four fingers up to access that multitasking menu, and more. Want to take a screenshot? You don't use the home button any longer, you use that sleep wake button and the volume up button. Press those together, instantly take a screenshot. Want to invoke Siri? Simply hold that sleep wake button to do it. And if you want to power everything down, hold the power sleep wake button and the top volume button just for a few seconds until you see the slider appear, in which case you can shut it down. As a photographer and a videographer, I am always connecting my camera to my iPhone and my iPad. Until now, I always needed some sort of interface, I had to use the wireless app, I had to use adapters to plug into lightning. Not anymore. I can actually take a USB-C cable, plug it into my Nikon Z7, plug it directly into my iPad, and transfer images. It is so uplifting to not have to worry about bringing adapters along for the ride. I can use the same cable that I'm using to charge my camera, same cable I'm using to charge my iPad, and use that to transfer images from one to the other. As a bonus, iOS 12 made the import process so much better, so it's a much more improved experience on the old iPad as well as on the new ones. Apple has never been one to focus on the raw specs. They never publicize how much RAM, how much the processor clocks in at. They give you kind of rough estimates on just performance improvements year over year. That's why you may not know that the new iPads have the same amount of RAM as the ones before it. That is, except for one situation. If you happen to pick up the new one terabyte storage option, you're going to get six gigs of RAM instead of four. And that's either with the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch. Just get one terabyte and you get an extra two gigs of RAM along for the ride. If 
you have a lot of web pages open and do things that are memory intensive, it may be worth it to go for that one terabyte just for the added bonus of that extra RAM. It's no surprise that without Touch ID, Face ID was taking over. Face ID has a bunch of awesome capabilities, including being able to unlock your iPad and take those portrait mode selfies. One that you may not think about right away is support for Animoji and Memoji come to the iPad for the first time. You can choose from all the different playful characters. They have all the intelligent physics, so the ears and whiskers all move around as you move your head. They map all these different muscles in your face as you move your mouth, as you blink your eyes, and even as you stick your tongue out. They are so fun to use and they've spawned so many creative endeavors, including Animoji Karaoke that Apple even used in their advertisements. Memoji takes things even further by allowing you to create your own characters, go with something wild or something that represents you. Then you can use it to record a 30 second clip and send it along its way, either as an iMessage or save the video. Want to power your iPad as fast as possible? Luckily this year with USB-C, Apple made that possible. Now inside the box, you get a USB-C cable and an 18 watt power brick. This can charge a lot faster than the 12 watt brick that was included with the last iPad. But want to take things even further? You can actually use your MacBook's power cable. So if you've got a 13 inch MacBook Pro, 15 inch MacBook Pro, anything that comes with a USB-C power charger will work on your new iPads. Just unplug it from your Mac and plug it into your iPad and charge up even quicker than the included power adapter. For many, the iPad is becoming a computer replacement and it acts as a shared device, whether at home or even in an office. A great way to capitalize on that is setting up an alternate face ID. Since Touch ID is gone, you have to use your face to unlock the iPad if you don't want to use the passcode. With iOS 12, Apple allows two different faces to be added. So a primary person and a secondary person all can unlock the iPad with their face. So if you share a tablet with a wife or with a coworker, this is a great way for both of you to be able to get in and not have to worry about entering that passcode every time. I hope you found at least one tip or trick useful in this video. If you didn't, make sure to share your own tips and tricks down below in the comments. And if you want to pick up an iPad Pro, get the best deals at the price guide in the description. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.